Older men often worry about whether their sperm is as good in quality as that compared to when they were younger or in comparison to younger men. If we were to look down the microscope at sperm from older men and compare it to younger men, we would probably struggle to see many visible differences. Age does have a small effect, so older men do ejaculate fewer sperm, they swim less well and they're less healthy in terms of size and shape, but probably not enough to have a significant effect on their fertility. But two other things happen as men get older. First, their interest in sex declines, so sexual frequency declines, and that is not the best if you're trying for a baby. So in a couple where the man is older and perhaps the woman is younger, um, trying to do anything you can to boost the number of times you have sex is probably a good thing to do. In terms of sperm and older men, we know that at the genetic level, sperm from older men are a little bit less healthy and that impacts on how likely those sperm are to fertilize an egg but it also impacts on how likely that pregnancy is to succeed and we do know that pregnancies in women that have been fathered by older men are more likely to end in miscarriage than pregnancies in women fathered to younger men so there must be something happening in sperm to cause this to happen and what we think it is is that simply that the sperm production factory is getting a bit tired in older men. There tends to be a cutoff around the age of 40 and we see that pregnancies are less successful in men above the age of 40 in comparison to those below the age of 40. So my advice would be this, um, if you were in a relationship and you want to try for a baby it's, and you're able to try for a baby, it's probably better to start sooner rather than later. If you're above the age of 40, I wouldn't panic, but I would just be aware of the fact that you may have to try a bit harder and it may take longer before a pregnancy is established and that you are successful.